Cassie and with today we're going to be doing a haul video on Collaborate for May. Um, I know this is a little late but since this is a new vlog I figured I'd catch up on the biggest events that I normally get stuff in and this is probably the biggest one this month. Um, it's all Bohemian Coachella themed and I really loved it. It's something that I really really like and my character really really likes so I went a bit crazy. Um, in this video I bought a lot of this stuff but I am missing the palms from Half Deer. Uh, I did buy it but uh, at the time just the redel delivery terminal didn't see it. I had gotten it the day the, the event opened and it uh, the processing thing just didn't get my order but I messaged her so um, I'll leave like a comment below on how they are and review them there after. <laughs> um, anyways let's get started. Um, I'm already wearing a few things just so I don't have to change that much, but I also rezzed out all the buildings that I bought and all the furniture that I bought just to make it a bit easier on me and I can clean up as I go. Um, so let's start off. Uh, this is the Trompe L'Oeil Lo <laughs> uh, building from uh, C88 and it's a Fisher Point Cottage. It's all one build. I just rezzed it out. There's no rezzer. And it's actually kind of cool. You can click the windows and open and close the shutters, which I really like. Like little things, right? Um, but I think this is one of my favorite builds. I thought it was really nice. I got it like immediately, and it's a cute like little Fisher cabin. It'd be good for summer. Um, if anybody does like role playing Sims, it'd be good for that. You can even light the fire. I just like the cute little aesthetic touches. Um, yeah, so that's get out of here and then I'll show you the next place. Um, next one up, um, this is Scarlet Creative and I actually use this build for um, a main store that my friends there and I are eventually opening. Um, I can probably teleport there at the end of this and just give you a quick show. But uh, I really like it. I thought it's cute, really simple, uh, nice basic colors which I really like. I like neutral colors a lot. And I did already fill it with the other furniture that I bought while I was at the event. Uh, the uh, What Next guitars, and these are wall hanging guitars and all different themes, and then also there's a stand that you can res out, and I believe they were pretty well priced, I think they were either 188 or 288 I should have written these down, um, I do have my transaction histories in a note card, but I don't really want to open that. And then I just delete all these. Um, and then this was a whole set right here. This was a Riskia Wild Boho Daybed. And it came with all these little goodies because I got the little pack. So it came with these cute mandala uh, cushions, this wall board with the arrows, another one mandala um, drape, and then these hanging plants. And I thought this was really, like, really, really cute. Uh, it has couples and singles poses, uh, girls and men, and. <laughs> I like the names. <laughs> they're really cute. Um, they're all decent land impacts, so it shouldn't hurt your land too much if you're on a like little prim budget. Um, this was definitely my favorite build of the haul. Uh, not that I don't like them all. This is the one that I'm j I just used immediately just because I like small little places, but. I do like all the the other one that I have, which is Barnsworth Anubis, but let me oops. Derp derp derp. Let me put that. These are Vespertine really quick. Let me show you these. And I thought these were so precious. Um again I role played a Harry Potter sim, so um bird cages is perfect for owls and uh if I ever want to like build like a little pet store again like I did last year at Brighton Bay or um, I don't know, I just like the decorations. There's hanging versions and there's floor versions, so I res one of each of the groups. And I've gotten the fat packs. And if you get the fat pack, you get the special yellow. It's like a mustard yellow, and I thought that was pretty. It's almost gold. Um, so yeah, I, I thought it was really cute. So <laughs> you delete all these now. This one does have a reser. Easy to res, easy to clean up. Delete it after. And then this is Dust Bunny. I love Dust Bunny so much. When she had her Everything is 50 Linden sale, I bought every single thing. <laughs> so, um, I, I definitely am a big fan. 
Uh, so this is just a really cute tent. You can put stuff under it, hang out. And I think it's perfect for camping, perfect for just hanging out in their backyard. And um, I would even add these little drapes from Half Deer. I got the drapes and I got the palms, but I'm just missing the palms right now. And the drapes, not only do they have like, um, they have all these colors, but you can also click them. And then they have even more. <laughs> so there is, there are so many options. The options are ridiculous. Um, they're, they're very much endless and uh, it's a very good deal. It was very cheap. So I definitely recommend getting these if you want something to hang on your ceiling and you don't want like the typical fans or lights. I think these are super, super cute. Uh, definitely recommend. All this stuff I gotta delete. <laughs> Let me delete this. And the last bit of furniture over here is Aria. Uh, Aria and Loft. And I really do like her couches. I think her poses are awesome in it. I got the adult version, so I'm not going to show you all the poses. But you can just click it. There's uh, friends, singles, couples, and adults. And there's general gals and guys. And a lot of them have attaches. cute little poses. I always love the fabrics on these. I think they're always, uh, like, they look really comfy and plush and realistic. And it's, it's a kind of expensive store, but I think it's well worth it with how much effort and work they put into it. Is Barnesworth Anubis. And this was just one build as well. It's no reser, so uh, 155 land impact. That's all it is. That's amazing for this giant, massive build. Um, if I had all the land for it, I would res this out instantly. I love the patio. I love the fireplace. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it has all these doors and windows, and I, I like how open it feels. I think it's really cute, and it's definitely something I would res out. I, I prefer my little sky boxes normally though. Like I got this just in case, but I normally like to just be in my little tiny homes. Let's go over the accessories really quick because it's just two items. So first we have Yummy, and I like Yummy a lot. I own quite a bit of Yummy. And this is their layered chain choker in silver. Uh, I just, I, they, I don't think they were out and set up yet on the very first day, so I had just gotten them before doing this video. Just so I can include them in the haul. And the HUD comes with four different gems that you can put around the necklace. And of course you can resize it because we all have different size necks and bodies. Which I really like that they always give those little customizations. There's nothing worse than like a, a necklace that's no mod and you can't really adjust it. And then Catatonic. And they did a scarf. And I like that they come with other sizes. I always like when... Uh, stores include flats just because my character doesn't have the biggest chest so sometimes flat works better than normal sizes it looks like actually the booby one might be better but I do like bandana I have a lot of her bandana in particular I think it, it's really cute and it fits well and I just got to find an outfit for it I just don't have one right now I'll probably wear it with some jeans or something okay so we got those out of the way, and now let's go over the bikinis, because I got quite a few. I got the FD chain bikini, and I'm so happy they started carrying it in Lara. That makes me very, very happy. So, um, let me remove this romper, and then I'll show you the bikini. Oops. Show all. And I think, I think this is gorgeous. FD has gotten it on point with fitting. Um, uh, when I had literally just bought in one color and I went back and got more just because I thought this looked so nice. Uh, so I also got it in navy. Which is also really pretty. And I got it in salmon because that's almost kind of skin tone-ish, but still a little color. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I will probably wear and blog it. I need to. I just, I have so much stuff that there's just that little list that I need to get through. 
Um, and then also today, I didn't see the Apple May thing until I was looking at the catalog today, so I ran over and got that as well. So let me put this on. I got it in two colors. I got it, oh no, yeah, I got it in two colors. I got it in black and I got it in cream. I really like, <laughs> I like natural and I like black. Those are the two colors that I normally wear. And it comes with a skirt or you can also remove it as well if you don't like it. And again, it just fits so well. Like, I'm so hot, happy Onyx created Matria body because everything just fits perfect. There's no ever issues with sizing. And <laughs> it's it's definitely probably the best thing I've ever gotten in Second Life was the Matria body. I'm so happy designers make stuff for it. And this is it in cream. Again, I like natural. I think that's really pretty. I love the lace. Um, yeah, I think it even looks really good with these sandals. <laughs> oh, I should probably put on something else before I do that. Okay, okay, let's go with Pixie Cat. Um, I'm obsessed with Pixie Cat. So I just got all the colors. I didn't even, de I don't, I don't demo by the way. <laughs> just a little note. I don't ever demo before I go shopping, and I know that's really bad. It's a really bad habit, but that's just, that's just me. I get excited, and especially at a really laggy sim, I just grab and go. So these are the Pixie Cat rompers, um, play suits, and it comes in eight colors. So black, white, like a navy, a red. And then here's some pastel, here's a pastel pink, and a peach. And then here, ooh, it didn't load all the way. Oh, I love that, that's so pretty. And then here's a really pretty floral print, and I love the, like, seaming. I think that's so cute. And then in the black floral... I like it a lot. I did have to alpha just a bit extra on the butt just because my AO moves a bit more. So and luckily it's not showing right now, but there's a few poses where it just shows a little bit of butt cheek, but that's really easily fixed. And it doesn't show any alpha on the bum. Like I think you saw it earlier, it looks fine. So Next up is Zenith, and I really love her textures. Um, I always love that they do include darker colors for me, so I don't have to always go pastel. I believe this is darker. I think this is even like a denim, so let's see. Ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to show you my hooch. Here's a skirt. No, it should just res, and it's not. I'll just hold it like this and cover things up until, <laughs> until you can see. There we go. Uh, this one does need an alpha. It might just be because I wore it after another outfit. So let's see if it does it here. If not, then I can alpha, but that takes seconds. Yeah, it doesn't have one built in, but that's okay. Um, I don't really mind. It takes seconds to alpha with the newest update on this, so I'm definitely not complaining. Um, but I had gotten it in that blue and red, and it comes with a HUD as well. Let me pull up the HUD for at least this one. I am kind of clipping just a little bit. Yeah, big booty. It's still easily fixable though, it's already done. <laughs> There's no more issues. So, um, I believe the HUD is for the bra underneath. So you can change it out to different bras. Yeah. I like that. I love this dress, I think it's actually a really pretty color. I forgot I got this, honestly. <laughs> oh, everything looks so good with these sandals. They all fit so well. Okay, just remove this one color and I'll move on. Yeah. And then Ison is next, and I do love Ison. I own quite a bit of Ison. I know I say that with almost every single thing that I've said so far. I'm so happy they started doing Matria as well. Oops, there's a little bit of nip. Let's hide the nip. And show a bit of tummy and hide the arms. And then I can show a bit of leg again. Easy enough. I think this is really cute. I'm um, not sure how often I'd wear it. Um, I actually think I like the little rompers and tight dresses a bit better, but I still think it's well done. 
Uh, it's well textured and detailed. I like the stitching and I love the little bow at the top. Yeah, it's, it's just a simple dress and I've seen a few of my friends vlog it and they look amazing in it. Um, and I definitely see myself wearing it in the summer, but that's about it. Um, let's go to the secret store and yes, I got them all. I love rompers. I'm obsessed with the rompers. So let's show all and it doesn't even look like I really have to alpha. It looks like I can just go full Monty. <laughs> and I thought this was really cute too. Again, I love rompers. I'm obsessed with them. This is what I could wear everywhere. Rompers and cute dresses. So that was in blue folk. This is in chalk. And this is just like a white. And I love these ta tassels. And this is in charcoal. This is just like a nice simple black. And then coral, which would be like a nice pink. Like a peachish pink. Ooh, no, this is way different. I like this. This is like folk. I like that. Oh, I did not expect that for coral. So I've got crimson. And crimson's just like a nice royal red. And we got navy. I like how fast these are resin. Yeah, easy on me. And Here's Paisley. Oh, I like that a lot. Paisley is pretty. Oh, I might have to wear that at the end of this. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be so stuck between that and the erratic jeans. This is cute too. This makes like I can see why it's called porcelain because it makes me think of like the plates that you see always sitting in um, the cabinets <laughs> in a nice uh, living room or dining room. This is Rose. This is kind of what I expected uh, coral to be a bit. It's a little darker. It's really pretty though. It does look like a rose. And sprinkles. And <laughs> it does look like sprinkles. These are really cute. I, I really like these. I definitely approve. I think a bit of skin did show, but again, that's not a big deal at all. Um, okay, we can go to hair next. I don't mind. Let's clean that through. And let's go to hair. So right now I'm wearing Moon, and this was from Uber, and it normally comes with daisies as well. Um, I, th I think this one is called Threading, or Threads. Um, they had Threads and Humming, and I really liked them a lot. I wear them both casually. Um, but let's go over these five. Um, I normally don't buy Diva just because her hair colors don't match mine. But I really thought this was a cute look, so I thought I'd at least get it for a blog post but it's not going to be a normal hair color for me. And uh, normally the hair texture, it looks it looks really realistic, but again, it just doesn't, it doesn't match the normal hair colors that I normally wear, which it's okay. Um, but I thought it'd be good for a cute blog post. I like the braid. I wish I could do my hair like that in real life. My hair is so flat. Um, let's see, let's go with the fitted Ilua, and I love Ilua. Um, I'll have to show you guys my hair section one day. I'm a bit ridiculous. Um, I do have a bit of cutting here. Uh, let's see if the rig fits any better. It does. So I do like the rigged better and I would probably wear that one more. I, I didn't color this one yet. I haven't textured it so it'll probably be another color of the HUD compared to the normal. Oh no, it still is okay. I love braids so much, and I'm so happy they have braids as well, and it's a very casual, lazy braid, not even tied. It's a good, lazy look. I did already blog this hair, and this is Silly Love by Lamb. And let me just show you my lamb hair <laughs> really quick. Um, yeah, <laughs> I like lamb. <laughs> I really like lamb. <laughs> this is this is probably one of my top stores, uh, along with Olive and Spellbound and Magica and well, yeah. Well, here's my hair. <laughs> I um, I'm really big on buying hair, so I thought this was really cute. Um, my character doesn't really that look that good with straight cut bangs, but I still think it's a really nice look and it's good for blogs. I don't. I'm not sure that this exact one is what I'd wear for everyday wear, but I wear all of her other hairs every day, so 
I still love her and I still love this. Um, I just bought this one as well with when I went to the shop to get the Apple Apple May bathing suit. So I haven't fit it. I haven't done anything yet. I just thought it was really pretty and I didn't even realize that it was released until I went there. So let's get the large. Look at a big head. There we go. That's better. And then I'll go for the darkest brown. And I use the brunette tud. Oh, that's pretty. It's a bit dark to see, just I think because of my lighting. But I like that a lot. It's very boudoir. <laughs> okay. And then the very last hair is Tableau Vivant. And I do love them. I do think maybe this hair wasn't really for me. But um, I do recommend it still. I do like Vivant a lot. I normally do like short hair, and that's normally what my character goes to often. I just don't really think that the headband is really for me, but that's all. That's like the most minor thing ever. And it still does look really cute. I love the little bun in the back, like the poof. It looks like it was teased up a bit. Um, I'll go back to wearing the Ulua hair while I go on to all the rest of the stuff. Okay, so next we have pants, shorts, and skirts. Um, let me get on a top as well, um, just so I'm not showing my boobies to the world. So let's go with, um, we'll go with Milk Motion shorts, and then I'll grab the Fox's Festival Tassel Tanks. And of course she has tons of sizes, which is always amazing. Okay, looks like they all outfit on their own. Okay, so let's go over these shorts first. And I just got them in black. Um, I might get more of them though because they fit so well. I really think that's a cute idea. It looks like they're all cut up and re-sewn back together. And I didn't, I didn't have to alpha at all. Like any of this, <laughs> they're all fitted perfectly. Um, I like how it makes my butt look, and it looks really perfect with this shirt actually too, and this is from Foxes, and I did get all the Foxes, I'm obsessed, um, but I'll go over those in a bit, well, I'll keep going over these shorts, I might have to remove the sandals for these, the rest, oh, I can wear the Spirit ones first, so let's put on Spirit's hip shorts. And these are really cute too, and it gives some butt cleavage. <laughs> I get a little wedgie. <laughs> but the spirit, spirit's gotten better and better and better every time I've shopped there. They've been getting really on point with their sizing. So is Kitja, um, Emery. I, all these stores have really been working hard. Um, I like this a lot. I think this is really cute. Um, I'm not sure when I wear it. I'd probably wear it again over the summer. <laughs> it's hard to do much really when I'm normally at a Hogwarts but I do like this. I do have it in my shorts folder for when I want to wear it. Um, okay, let me remove these sh these, and then I can go over the skirt. Moonamore normally doesn't do uh, mesh body sizes, which is okay. Uh, I don't mind it at all. I think I actually need a small. I always like how um, hers are kind of like avant-garde with how she dresses her. her style. I just think it's really neat. It's really flowy. I could see it for a blog post more than for average wear. And I think that's how most of her stuff is. She has a lot of stuff that's like suspended in air or wind movement. And I really like that. I think that's a really nice style. And it's really nice for portraits and photos. Um, I think I have the top for this as well. So let me put that on. I do. I do. I do. I do. Even though uh, this isn't made for matriarch body, it does alpha really easy, so it shouldn't be a problem to wear. Um, looks like there's a little bit of cutting, so I can go up a size, but I, I'm not complaining at all. I still think it's really nice, and for portraits, it's really easy to wear. And this HUD does come with other colors, so I can wear it with the brown, and I believe the skirt does too. I got it in teal. 
Yeah, so I was just wearing the basic color. <laughs> Oops. Um, touch to start. Ooh, it comes with a lot of stuff. I take all the time to make the HUDs look nice and centered now, and I just move it. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think this is really pretty. I love the textures. I love how shiny it is. Someone make me blog everything. I gotta spend a day doing all that. Okay, let's go to the next thing, and that is Adams. And I got both the top and bottoms for this as well. So let's look for Adams' top, and I'll get both of them done. I really liked these bottoms. I was almost tempted to wear them for uniform because I like them so much. But they do show quite a bit. <laughs> um, I think they're gorgeous. They fit amazingly. They gave me a big booty. And oh my gosh, I am so impressed. Adams is amazing. And the top too, I love it. And it works perfect with any physics. Uh, not too much jiggle. Which I have, my physics are really low, they're supposed to be very subtle, but clothes normally do kind of make them a bit more jiggly than they should be. But, gosh, I love this so much. It's good for yoga, good for casual. Ah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then the pants that I always wear <laughs> are erratic. I'm always stuck between erratic and blueberry for my pants now. Oh, and I wear Adams too. I definitely wear Adams. I wear the Bermuda pants. And Kitcha. Okay, I wear everything. <laughs> These are the erratic pants, and I got the fat pack, of course, so it comes in tons and tons and tons of colors. Uh, her fat packs always include, like, extras. Uh, so if you ever. Um, I always think it's a really good deal to get the fat pack. I wonder why it's alpha in like that. It's kind of being weird. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'll figure it out later. It might just be because of how I'm removing it, so it's kind of messing it up a bit. But that's okay. I'll figure it out. But I do like them. I do think they fit perfect. I love the booty. I love the textures. It looks so real. It, look, it looks realistic. Um, let me go to back to the Adams pants to wear for the rest of the stuff, just so I don't have to worry about the alpha because it's gonna bug me. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the shirts. Oh, I should actually wear some shorts too. I can wear it so I can show off the rest of the shoes as well. Oh, that looks really cute together. That fits perfect. Okay. I'll stop being distracted. Okay. Um, I have... Uh, did I show the spirit high top? Hip top? I already forgot. I did not. Okay. I think this is so, so pretty. Like, look at that lace. No alpha. You can see everything. Like, this takes a lot of work, I'm sure. I love that. And there's even, like, the little stitching on the back to show where it connects. I love that. It's so pretty. I, sh I might go get more colors. I like that. Okay. Um, so all I have left to show for shirts is foxes. And if you can't tell, I'm a big foxes fan. Um, again, I didn't even demo. I just got them all. Um, come on, spirit. Get off. And so it comes with a lot of really pretty colors. You already saw the hand. Saw the hand. Um, this is the ombre. Let's see if I can get a better lighting on it. I'm gonna stand still so you can see them all. Why do I keep freezing? Silly thing. I froze for a little bit. Um, so this is the ombre, and then let's get the rest of the Lara, so it's got a little separated. This is in black. And then we also have blue. I like that it comes with a few plain colors, it's not just 
uh, all the intricate designs. And I think she does that with almost anything. She always has a few basic colors to go with all of the themes. This has so many things, though. I didn't realize how many colors it came in. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a little mandala. Oh, a dream catcher. That's what it is. How pretty. And it comes in other colors. I like that. So you can see it a lot more right here. Ooh. I might go back to that one at the end. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, another really pretty dream catcher. And there's in pink. Earth. It's just a nice brown. Oh, it's like a burgundy. I like that. <laughs> I say that this whole video. I don't think I have any negatives for this video. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love the shine. And a nice gray and necklace. I feel like I'm droning on for forever. There's just so much to see. Nice pink. Purple. We're almost done. Ooh. It's a really pretty purple. Got it in red. Weird. Let's see what the weird is. Stay weird. Oh, that's really cute. Little alien. And in white. Okay, finally got all through all the shirts, and then we just got shoes left. So, um, let's go back to, um, I think I was going to wear the eye. I think it was probably one of the dreams, but I like the eye too, so I'll just wear that. And then let's go to shoes. Yay, shoes. I think shoes are my second most bought thing along with um, hair. So let's go with Fry. I did get the fat pack. Um, Fry normally doesn't fail me. I love it. So I got quite a few colors. And I think these are really cute. I like gladiators. Um, I'll probably wear the cocoa more than anything. Uh, so here's Cloud, and that's kind of like a whitish whitish gray and here's coal I do wear coal a lot <laughs> I think that's what I own the most of <laughs> for her color palette coal and sometimes I think it's graphite it's either graphite or granite that she has and here's the cocoa and here's eggplant I do wish more things had like were like HUD based with textures, but I'm not complaining. I do think that these are still really easy to wear. It's not like it's like it takes ages to put on a sandal, <laughs> so um, I still really like them. I gotta eventually blog these. I gotta blog the rain shoes. I gotta I gotta get on board. Um, but yeah, these are the fried dusty sandals. I think they're really cute. I'm accidentally wearing two. So let's remove them. And then we have. Ingenue left or next and I think these are really cute too. These are really simple. Um, good for casual wear, good for like walking around shopping. And I actually own sandals just like these in real life. A bit different. Um, a lot easier to put on here than they are <laughs> in real life. Um, and I got Fedora, and I normally wouldn't buy shoes like these, but I thought these were really cute, and it's a really good deal. Like, it comes with a bunch of colors and a bunch of different options, so I thought this was neat. It comes with both uh, colors just for C88 and colors that are normally in the HUD. These are kind of taking a little while to load, but look at all these colors. Like, there's just a ton. I think these are the C88 ones, yeah, and these are the normal ones. 
And these have a really cute palette. They went with the ones that are for this theme. And these are the normal ones. It does come with like a nice gold. And it, you can color the sole, the heel, and the base, which is awesome. Zoom out. Oh, there it is. Yay! I might actually go for this color instead. It'll be gray forever again. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Yeah, I really like this. I think this is cute. Uh, do that for all the colors. Oh, and that. And that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm not sure how often I'd be able to wear it. It'd probably be for a blog post. Um, I think I say that for a lot of stuff. But I do like it a lot. And let's go on to the last things. But definitely not least, because I love rain. Um, these are the rain sandals. And I got them in two colors. The ones that I wear the most, which are black and gold. Black and tan. So here it is in black. These are so cute. Why didn't the alpha thingy work? Did I not do it? There we go. So yeah, here they are in black. And then you saw them in gold earlier. Why am I why do I keep freezing? And here they are in gold. I think, or tan. I actually think I actually prefer the tan over the black. Just because they are kind of like Coachella themed. I like the lighter colors. Um, but yeah. That's the whole outfit. Um, I'm sorry this was such a long video. Such a long haul. And I hope you did enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to stop recording now. Bye!